I think at school, when I was 16 or 17, we all did awful parodies of poetry as we thought they were at the time. And it was all rubbish, of course, you know. But when I was at university in Canada, where I went, went to university, we had a wonderful English teacher named Arthur Mochier. And he was a, the, the drama person. He put on plays. And he was also a wonderful reader of poetry. So everybody, everybody who took his courses wanted to become a poet. And so we all did. You know, We weren't that good, but we wanted to write poetry. It was like a discovering a personal voice after you know, 15 years of school, you know, where everything was very formal and rhetorical. It took quite a long time. I, I think when my first two or three books were poetry, and then uh, I began a book called The Collective Works of Bill the Kid, which was about, which was books of poems written, poems written by Bill the Kid. And after a while I thought, eh, it needs some action. This is a Western. So I started writing prose, and that's how it happened, in fact. So the book was a kind of mixture of prose and poetry and interviews and all sorts of things. So that's how it happened. And I hadn't rewritten really prose until then. And the prose was very different from the poetry. It was wild and crazy and, you know, um, unlike anything I'd done. And it was kind of quite exciting and freeing. <laughs> I think I would say you want to find three or four other writers of your ilk or your age, and you should meet once a week or every two weeks, maybe two every two weeks, and you, you kind of look at each other's poems and comment on them and respond to it. It's a very, very, um, and you have to kind of also hold, hold back any kind of self-criticism. You know, don't don't be too protective. Don't be. Um, you know, feel that no one can criticize you. you know, criticism is actually kind of a pretty great thing. So that the art of the rewrite becomes something very important. You know, and uh, so I think that was, that's an important thing. And there's a great pleasure, you know, in having four or five friends who know your poetry better than anybody else in your life, you know. And that was a big influence for me as, as, a, as a young university student. I, I never had an idea outside the work. You know, I mean, you know, you meet someone at a party and say, they'll say, I have a great idea for a novel, and you quickly leave them. Because, you know, it, it, it's, it's too abstract. You know, an idea is, you know, runs out after a page. But once you've got, say, a hint of a character or a place or a landscape, then you can kind of start improvising off that. I'm proud of the work when, I, when it gets to a movie, if it's good, and I've been lucky with that. You know, I recognize the, the story, I recognize the characters, and so that, that's not a problem for me, you know, and I also like the element when it changes. I like, you know, I like the fact that the film will always change the story in some way, you know, that what you thought was this aspect, central aspect of a character, is, is not the same central aspect of a character in, in a film. A film is a completely different creature. You know, it's different kind of bones and fur and so forth. No plans. <laughs> you have an idea? <laughs>